Hey, this is Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures. I'm back with another holiday gift guide idea. Now, if your kids are into coding and they like robots, well, I've got the perfect thing for you to get for them, which is the RD3000. And RD3000 is a drawing robot. I received this for free from Educational Insights. That's the company that makes this. And RD is about $69.99 and it is for ages seven plus because the child can learn basic programming up to advanced programming with this one toy because they don't have to go get additional toys to learn other programming languages. So they could use Artie as like a remote control uh, or they could use point and click to draw something with the Artie interface and then they can move up to Blockly, which is a different programming language. They can also go to Snap or Python or JavaScript. So they're gonna learn a bunch of different languages all with this one robot. And let's take a look at the robot because he is really cute, okay? So inside, we've got, we've got some uh, markers. So the markers will go inside of Artie and he will draw with those. So this is Artie, Artie is so cute. I saw Artie at the holiday of play and when I saw him, I said, I've gotta get this for the kids because this is incredible and the kids are really enjoying coding and learning and they love to draw. So what better than this little drawing robot that's adorable and uh, just some different things about Artie. Uh, Artie has a built-in Wi-Fi server Okay, so that means that you don't need an internet connection to use uh, Artie. You can use a, a laptop or um, a desktop or a um, tablet with Artie, but you're gonna connect directly to Artie and that's where you can use his built-in coding apps. Um, that's where you can uh, load in your programs, you can edit, you can save the programs, all by connecting directly to Artie. It's also a remote control toy, and that way uh, you can control all the movements of Artie, uh, just like as a remote control. And also, Artie has a 360 degree movement, so you can see these two uh, wheels will move independently. This is uh, kind of rubberized here, and that'll keep them gripped onto the paper. Uh, he also lowers and lifts up the pen. Now the pen gets added in here. So this is where you turn on Artie, this is where you add in the pen. And there's a special piece here where you put, it's like called the marker parker, right here is this little, this little thing here. You take that off and you push the pen down until it hits that one point and then you can take this off and you know, Artie is ready to uh, draw. So we can set up Artie to go ahead and draw and uh, we'll show you what that looks like. I brought Artie downstairs and I asked for the help of a couple of uh, coding experts or soon to be experts, uh, my kids. Uh, so could you guys introduce yourselves? Hello, my name's Andrew. Hi, I'm Eva. And they love doing uh, stuff with robots and they're actually very, they can't wait to get their hands on this. Robot, um, robot. But for me, uh, I'm gonna get this ready. So first we're gonna add in the, uh, the marker. Okay, and what we're gonna use is gonna, this is called the marker parker, and we're gonna stick that in there so that the marker goes down to the proper, so right here is the hole we put it in. We're gonna stick the marker right down as far as it can go, as far as the marker parker. And then we're gonna close Artie up, and we're gonna put Artie on the paper. Now guys, what should Artie draw? Let's make him draw a square. square. All right, so Artie's gonna draw a square, and luckily we've got the code all set up. We're using the Artie UI code, which is pretty simplistic. Uh, what we're gonna have here is we're gonna have Artie put the pen down. We're gonna have him move about three and a half inches. We're gonna have him turn 90 degrees, and we're gonna have him repeat that until he draws a square. So I'm gonna hit run, and here goes Artie. You heard he goes zoop, and that was putting the pen down. And now he turns 90 degree angle. And there he goes and turns another 90 degree angle. And as you can see, the code is starting to light up as it executes the individual bits of code. And now Artie has drawn a square and I think you could probably see that, but we had to tape down the paper so I can't flip it up for you uh, because it's actually much easier for Artie to run around if the taper is paper is taped down, right? Yeah, yes, right. the taper is taped down. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so the pen is back up and we can have Artie go through and run <laughs> square after square after square uh, and 
you know, go through there and, and do that. But that's not all that Artie can do. Artie can do a whole bunch of other things, too. Can you draw circles? Artie can draw circles. Artie can draw... Um, there, there's a whole bunch of other things. There's can actually some... Octagon? Uh, possibly. Uh, what we can do here, let's see. Um, we got the Artie UI. Here's the toolbox. And I am going to... Let's see. No, no. We're going to have... Because you can even set it to simulate uh, on the grid. So you can have it run the simulation on the grid rather than actually already running the program. So you can see right here is running a simulation. And so if you want to make sure what Artie is going to do before Artie does it, you can set it up to run a simulation first. Now there are some um, other things that are set up here for Artie in the toolbox. Let's see, we're gonna go more, let's go to Blockly. Mm, yeah. And Blockly. in Blockly, yeah. it actually has the RD commands, the moving and the log, but then RD, I'm sorry, Blockly also has a bunch of logic, so to run a loop. So for example, if we were to do the, if we were to do the square again, we would have RD, let's see, we're gonna take that and get those out of here, right? They're out of here, okay. So we're going to take the RD logic, and we're going to first say, nope, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to say pen down, and then we're going to have RD move forward 100 millimeters. We're going to have him turn left 90 degrees. But with um, Blockly, you can have a loop, and we're going to have this loop here, and we're going to move. We're going to stick the move inside the loop. So pen down, we're going to have a loop there, and then we're going to run. So it's going to run for, f oh, I made it run 10 times. Ooh, uh, you can make it, a weird looking square. yeah, but it's interesting because this square is right on top of uh, the other square. So and so it's going to be a really, really dark square when it's done because I'm having it run 10 times. <laughs> uh, we can also stop already at any point. So Artie can stop there I'll at any point. Run ten times. I know. We're, we're going to just uh, take that number and we're going to make that a four to make a square. At least it's still going to be dark. And we're going to have Artie run a little bit differently because now his square is going to overlap a little bit the square that he just made uh, where he's turned just a tiny bit. So he's making another square there. Now he can make all sorts of other things as well. Artie just likes squares today. He just likes squares today because that's what we had him do. Yeah. That is the um, Blockly. And then you can get into JavaScript. You can get into Python and Snap. There's so many other things that you can get into to uh, work with Artie. Now, I'm going to turn this over to the kids. They're going to work with it. So, Dad was alone for like two minutes, and I figured out how to make a diamond on the Artie. Here's our code, Blockly. Um, I have all this moving and turning, repeating four times to make a diamond. And let's run it on the robot. Oh, now he's going to keep going. That's okay. It's gonna make an interesting shape though. Yeah, I can't wait to see this. Cool. So yeah, here is our shape. It's actually kind of cool, I like it. Me too. But uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, this is Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures along with Eva and Andrew. And this was part of our holiday gift guide. Thank you, Educational Insights, for sending this RD3000 here to us for free so that we could include it in the holiday gift guide. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter as Ben Spark, Facebook.com slash Ben Spark Family Adventures, and you can find us here making videos all the time. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe down below and tell us in the comments what you'll make RD do.